Congratulations. Congratulations. You Congratulations. 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 Like, comment, subscribe. <laughs> I'm going to th- right smash there. like. <laughs> that right there is now our advertisement. <laughs> I'm just cut Great. out the like, comment, subscribe. It's just going to be that. Dab on that bell. <laughs> <laughs> Dab right. on that bell. Hi, welcome to Heat Wave. It's the podcast where we have to talk about video games at least once. <laughs> <laughs> I love that you're Otherwise, we'll go to jail. Your description of the podcast is getting more and more like coherent. Heat wave. We have a quota. <laughs> we have a quota. Heat wave. It's both a decoration and a proposition. <laughs> Heat wave. That global warming is a bitch. <laughs> and speaking of uh, heat wave. Sorry, Australia. Oh. At least we got some titties out of it. Oh yeah, that's true. What? Yeah, haven't you heard about the um, oh the oh, oh, yeah. philanthropist? That's right. Yeah, just... I thought you were saying at least we got some titties out of Australia. <laughs> I mean, we did, which is like, I mean, you keep going. Huh? Yeah, over half of the <laughs> Earth's population is female, so like statistically speaking, <laughs> probably it's mm-hmm. been zero days since Brian left the set. <laughs> <laughs> Brian is notorious for just I'm the host. Get- Excuse me. <laughs> Brian is notorious for just like getting up and leaving in the middle of a recording session. Yeah, just and he just did it just now for those of you just listening. Yeah. All right, and I'm back. And you know what? We're Welcome gonna, to Heat Wave. We're gonna the go ahead. podcast where sometimes we talk about games and sometimes we talk about Australia. And this time we're gonna talk about Jerris's next segment. Give it away. <laughs> give it away. <laughs> give it away now. It away. You're a part of the Red Hot Chili away. Peppers yeah. now. Yeah. Um <laughs> Friends, com- comrades, what conspiracy theory are you super interested in or super excited about? So, first of all, I thought we were in Australia. I didn't know comrades were. were uh, comrades are everywhere. Brian. I thought that was just Russia. You're derailing this. Uh, That's right. part of your Speaking conspiracy. Of, I, a better segment would have been, or a better segue would have been, oh. uh, Australia doesn't exist. That oh. is. <laughs> conspiracy that, there that some people have that is related to so like that, the flat earth stuff yeah. which is my conspiracy theory the flat earth uh conspiracy theory mm. that is my favorite one because it is the most easily debatable one we've known about <laughs> we've known that the earth has not been flat for like thousands and thousands of years now yeah and the, the, each time you come up with a new reason to like every time they come up with a new reason that we can easily just be like uh, no here's why that's not mm. the case yeah. they're like oh no we have some other batshit idea the earth has got to be flat <laughs> one of my one of my favorite things about the flat earth conspiracy theory yeah shout out to Ono Ross and Carey who did like a very long uh, series on okay. this um, none of those people agree on why the earth is flat. Like all they agree on is just that the earth is flat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Some people think the world is a hologram. Some people think that we're in like an alien zoo. The, my favorite's the snow globe. Mm, yeah. My favorite oh, is yeah. the uh, snow Earth globe? snow globe. So we're in a snow globe, and the sun and the moon <laughs> are inside are, of it with us. No, no, they are. Uh, they are, are they on outside? the glass. Oh, they're on the glass. They're part of the glass. You know. I feel like that is very similar to. Uh, a couple of years ago, I started to read the Bible because I was like, yes. I like stories and stuff. Yeah. Uh, and the beginning where they describe Let's like, see what this Jeebus is all yeah, about. <laughs> in the literally in the first like part of the book, I don't know what the parts are called. Brit- Brittany's not really well versed on the I'm Bible. I'm not religious, and I just thought I would read it. Um, <laughs> they describe like how God made the earth, and how they describe something very similar to that, like mm-hmm. a sort of like a yeah. snow globe type thing. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's very similar. Yeah. yeah, and I think that's probably where that stems from. Maybe. Yeah, a lot of it does. Yeah. Uh, some of it's also just um, just batshit crazy. Yeah. But my favorite <laughs> is the ones where we live on a pile of turtles. Oh yeah, turtles all the, the way down. The disc That's world the uh, yeah. Stephen King uh-huh. uh, it yeah. ending. <laughs> yeah, you know, and uh, if you read the book uh, in it, it was something like it was a turtle god or something, and mm-hmm. they had to yeah. fight the turtle god by so, having a weird orgy as children. Yes, yeah. I've never the, read it, but <laughs> I've never I, seen a it. A friend either. of mine has like a wonderful <laughs> tirade about. Uh, how bad at writing Stephen King is because he yeah. establishes like the blood bond and then they all fuck. Well, um, 
Yeah, that sounds right. I read like the first half of the book. Mm. Hold on, but I... <laughs> Papa bless. Sneezes. <laughs> sneezes. Oh, gosh, Wait you have to make sure bless. that you dab when you sneeze. It stands for destroy all bacteria. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I only read the first half of the book, and so far I haven't come across the orgy yet. Yeah, I don't know if I'll ever read the second half of the book because the book is literally a thousand pages long, and it could easily just be five hundred. And, and would, it's a cocaine nightmare. Yeah, it's pretty hard to follow. Like I would read a page and then be like, "What did I just read? Let me go back and reread that." <laughs> so, <laughs> jeez. Uh, side so you should watch the new versions of it for one reason. Bill the first Hader. Bill Hader, yeah. The first one is uh is legitimately scary. The second one is fucking hilarious. Mm. That's what I've heard, yeah. And it is it's a cavity. Yeah, it's so great. And yeah, Bill Hader like kills it. I'm it, really pleased that Bill Hader is like stretching his acty legs. Yes. I don't know if you guys yes. have watched Barry. Mm-hmm. Yes, I have. I've been watching a little bit of it. Uh-huh. It's great. one of my favorite HBO shows. I know of it, but I haven't watched it yet. Uh, it is a great show. Yeah. Is, well, is Bill Hader Pennywise? No, no he, Bill Hader is one of the He's kids. one of the kids. He's in uh, He's in chapter two. Oh, okay. So he's yeah, an adult he's like in chapter two. Tim Curry is Pennywise. <laughs> well, in well, my in heart. The original, yeah. You know. <laughs> My heart and soul. Uh, speaking of which, have you uh, watched Beyond? I think it's called Beyond the Curve, which is like a Netflix documentary about yes. flat earthers. Yes, it's pretty entertaining. I, you should watch yet. it. I need to watch. It's that. really funny. Yeah. So my favorite story about flat earthers was the guy who built a home rocket. Yeah, and <laughs> launched himself into the upper atmosphere with a parachute. And even though he, he got himself, right? he almost killed himself. He got up there. And he saw the curvature of the earth. He confirmed he saw the earth curve. Yeah. He is sure that there's an explanation for that beyond the earth being round. Mm. Oh, okay. Mm. Yeah. Well, that's like, so this documentary on Netflix is pretty funny because it's someone's making a documentary about these people who believe in flat earth. And um, I think the people who were in the documentary agreed to it because they thought it was going to be, it was going to shed light on like right. their beliefs, but it's the opposite. It's a kind of making fun of them a little bit of like, yeah, yeah. look at these silly people, look what they believe in. And it seems like most of the people are like, I don't really, <clears throat> not sure if I believe it or not but it's nice to be part of a group is what most people said Mm. and then at the end they do this experiment where they like shine they like shine this extremely expensive laser they spent all this money on uh like a couple miles on this like board to be like if it points here then we'll know the earth is flat but if it points like lower because of the curve or whatever and it just the documentary ends on spoilers it ends on them like doing this experiment and realizing that the earth is in fact round and the guy's just like huh huh that's really interesting huh and then the credits roll (laughs) which is amazing i don't know if it's this same one but there was another flat earth documentary um and they interviewed like one of the guys who like has has kept this insane thing going Mm -hmm. um but he wanted final edit at like he wanted to make the final cut yeah of course mm-hmm. um mm-hmm. and they're like no, no. absolutely no, 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 not no, no, no. can't have it mine is actually sort of related to that okay it's the theory that the reality that we live within is a computer simulation and ever since we turned on the L- large hadron collider mm-hmm. the simulation is falling apart okay so i know about this one yeah i don't know about i'm this also one. a big fan of the fact that i'm pretty sure elon musk is a big proponent of it <laughs> of course he is uh-huh. he's, because he's a billionaire internet troll yes he is <laughs> he is the future and he's a nightmare <laughs> but also electric cars yay yeah, I mean, <laughs> get get what good we can out of that. Um, what about you, Hutch? Yeah. Do you have a favorite conspiracy um, theory? I like the one that the uh, underground of the Denver airport Ooh, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. houses a secret underground city of the Illuminati. Mm. This, uh, I'm, this is all, I don't know anything about oh, what you're saying. Oh, this, this is, is news. perfect. So, so I, I don't have much other than that. I think I, that's... I've you, got a couple of things. Go, go so, ahead. like... The construction of the Denver airport went like four times longer than it was supposed to and cost like a bunch of millions of extra dollars. Okay. Um, And people believe that there are additional rooms and additional spaces within it (laughs) Mm -hmm. um, because the math doesn't add up. And then there's other weird, crazy shit. Like there's a big, giant horse 
outside of it. They okay, call it yeah. Blucifer. It's a blue Blucifer. Mustang. Yeah. And yeah. It's a Mustang with red eyes. It's great. I saw and it. And the person who was casting the statue was killed when it fell on him. <laughs> oh. I have to go to Denver. Yeah. 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 You should look this up. <clears throat> it's like, real it's cool. It's really so great. I've heard, about the, I've heard about the horse. Yeah. Because you showed me the horse. Yeah. But I don't remember uh, the Illuminati bullshit. Mm. So so it's cool because they're doing a lot of construction around there right now. Mm. And they've got a bunch of ads that like yes. play yeah. into those uh, theories. They're like murals. That's okay. like reptilian Ooh. eyes and, oh my and God, stuff I like that. I mean, that. yeah, I, that's kudos to their marketing team to right. like know that Absolutely. the stuff's like floating around about them and just give it into that. It's just very entertaining. Yeah, it's, it's all amazing. stuff. <laughs> it's all stuff that's like... Uh, sorry for the mess. We're uh, refurbishing the Illuminati, the secret <laughs> Illuminati meeting room in the basement. I, God, it's fantastic. So that's like wow. one of my favorite things about like social media and like brands getting Twitter accounts and stuff is yeah, like yeah. the 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 uh, self awareness yeah. of brands, which I super but that appreciate. one's in real life. If the, that's a real life ad, yeah. though, right? Yeah. Okay, so They're, that's even better. Yeah. Mm. All right, well, Brittany, I know so you got us some my, wild fucking my bullshit. My favorite one. I have a little. I love conspiracy theories. I love to. Um, mm. I love to talk about them and discuss them. I don't think I really believe in any like mm. conspiracy theories, though. Like, I'm interested, but not like. Yeah. I believe this. Um. So I have here one of my. This is legit. One of my favorite books. I thought it was your favorite book. Yeah, like, it is my favorite book. Uh, it's called Rant, and it's by Chuck Palahniuk. You love I'm not Fight sure Club if fame? I say his last name oh. right. I just call him <laughs> Palahniuk, but yeah, he is the man who wrote uh, Fight Club, and mm. he writes a bunch of like really weird shit. And this particular <laughs> book. It has a lot of things going on with it. I don't even know how to describe it because, first of all, it's an oral biography, which means that, like, he, he it's fictional, but he, like, interviewed all these, like, uh, different characters. And mm-hmm. sometimes uh, the nature of, like, memories and oral biographies is that sometimes the facts contradict each other. Mm-hmm. So two people can be talking about the same situation, but yeah. it could be really different. And because of that, it makes this book kind of hard to understand. I had to read it a couple times to fully get it. But it has to do with a man who contracted rabies Mm -hmm. and he spread rabies to an entire population because apparently rabies makes you super horny. I don't know if this is true or not, but it is in the book at least. Uh, and then he discovered this thing called party crashing where everyone gets into their cars and they they bump into each other and like crash or whatever. And but he, on purpose. Yeah, on purpose. Mm-hmm. And he found out a way to um, crash his car so hard that he went back in time <laughs> and had sex with his mother and became his own father and thus became a god. <laughs> and he continues to do this through the generations. So this book is a little weird, <laughs> but it talks Maybe. a lot. It talks a lot about conspiracy theories, and this is my one of my favorite ones that came across because I was like, "Holy fuck, this could potentially be true." Mm. Um, so this is based on a real report that was submitted to the Security Council in 1974, and mm-hmm. you can look it up. It's called the Henry Kissinger Report. Okay. And it basically warns that the greatest threat to the future of American is overpopulation in third world countries. And if we wanted to see America survive, we needed to depopulate those third world countries. Oof. So that is 100% true. Oof. You can look that up. That is true. So this Oof. is the part where the conspiracy theory comes in, which is like, I'm not sure this could be true or not. All of the wars yeah. and shit. So it said that um, the book simply says like, after explaining all that, it said, should we be surprised that the AIDS virus showed up in Africa in about 1975, which is like when the epidemic happened? Um, and the the first explosion of AIDS infections in, African, in Africa started in missionary hospitals where Christian volunteers reused the same needles to vaccinate local kids against smallpox and, and diphtheria. So it's kind of like, <clears throat> ooh, okay. So we had this like really radical, like, bill like proposed yeah. the security council mm. and now like here's the explosion of aids in africa yeah and it said that um between 1976 and 1980 the infection curve rose from 0.7 percent to 40 percent in some parts of west africa mm-hmm. and the places that were hit the most were let's see here uh Botswana, Zimbabwe, and South Africa, and mm. those are the ones that have they're rich with uh, resources like gold and diamonds. Yeah. So if you think about like the continent of Africa is fucking huge, yeah. and it has oh, yeah. a ton of like natural resources and mm. precious minerals and precious stones. And honestly, if like 
colonizers didn't come in and fuck over those countries, they would be very powerful, rich countries. Yeah. And they explored that a little bit in um, in Black Panther too. Yeah. Uh, so it's interesting that like that part of it is the is the conspiracy theory right. that we in- knowingly infected <clears throat> the AIDS virus to yeah. keep the third world under control. Well, and that. Um, but it's also like kind of believable in a way, yeah. you know. I mean, there, like based there are on a couple the, of those, like yeah. the the crack epidemic, mm-hmm. um, heroin epidemics, uh, HIV. AIDS. What, what's the one where I, I forget what it, I forget what the disease was? It starts with an S, but we infected a lot of black men in the south. Syphilis. With it? Syphilis. Syphilis. I talked yeah. about this too. Mm-hmm. That's also in this book. It's okay. the Tungsky experiment. Yeah, Tungusky. Tendutsky. Um, Some, we're fucking like that. that. Tan, uh, blah, 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 blah. Tuskegee. Tuskegee. Yeah, that's, that's it. it. Yeah, they infected all of these African American men. I think it was like in Alabama, and they just let syphilis go on them. Yeah, it was yeah. Like and an they experiment. just yeah. And the only reason that it came into public knowledge was because like a whistleblower reported it to the I think it was a newspaper called the Washington Evening Star or something like yeah. that. Yeah, and that's not even that's not a conspiracy theory. That's been that's proven. true. That's yeah. a truth, and yeah. that's that's part of the yeah. Thing. So this book it explores all of it. It explores a lot of biological uh, like warfare and and experiments yeah. and shit like that because this book talks about rabies because in this this is the, like a book based in the future where. There is an overpopulation problem with the cities, so they have people who have to come out at night and people who come out in the daytime. Mm-hmm. And the people who have to come out at night are kind of like the lower class citizens. Okay. Okay. And so the rabies goes hand in hand with kind of like poorness. Yeah, poorness and like uh, they compare it to like uh, like vampires and like mm-hmm. werewolves and stuff because they're like nighttime people. Okay. And in this book, like the nighttime people are getting like shot by police because they think they're all infected with rabies. So, oh, okay. Interesting. Yeah, it's interesting. So it talks a lot about that. Oop. Well, oh, yeah, we just voted for five Our more minutes. minutes. <laughs> <laughs> but, but like, so I'm I'm uh, in the camp of more readily available to believe that mm-hmm. um and partially because the our wonderful government has done some i think something happened with the thing no it's okay. okay. fine um has done some fucked shit yeah especially in the 70s especially targeting black people mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. um and i don't know one of my one of the things that i was reading about is a like this intelligence group in the FBI that their entire purpose was to discredit Martin Luther King Jr. Yes. Yeah. Um, And they, some of it was synthesized. Some of it was like actual things that happened, Mm -hmm. but they would just mail letters to everyone in his family, accusing him of various different terrible things and, and try to get stories published about that. So I, I can definitely see like that jingoistic slant of the American government yeah. just kind of going in that direction and saying like, yeah, fuck it. Let's, let's see what we can do with some AIDS. Yeah. So, the, yeah. <clears> no, <throat> I, so my favorite conspiracy theory, I feel like is more fun than yours yeah, because sorry. I know it's not true. <laughs> like I can prove yeah. that the earth is, sorry has to occurred. come to the table with something pretty grim, but no, I mean, no, like, no, that's, that's good. That's, that's the point of yeah. the question. You yeah. can go no, in no. either direction. I'm not, I'm not, I like not. this one in particular because it's, there is some facts yeah, to it yeah and then it's like oh yeah i could totally see this happening yeah. like if someone if like something came out that could prove without a doubt that right. we infected the aids virus to the rich countries in africa yeah 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 then i would be like yeah that fucking makes sense that sounds like some bullshit that sounds that like we some would dumb do. shit we would try <laughs> yeah I, so. i'm i'm increasingly like as i've gotten older <clears> like <throat> i am and this is hard to say after the context of what we've just talked about. I'm often I'm proud to be an American, but um, it is often in every country this is the case though. But yeah. I'm often like taken back by like what that implies based mm-hmm. on our history. Yeah. So it's um, well, and and you can like be critical yes, of absolutely. things that the country has done yeah, wrong. Yeah, exactly. <clears throat> but that um, is that's so how you, wrong. That's that, how that's, you get better is yeah. being critical of but things. And that's, it's not my, a lack of criticalism. It's more like, to me, that, that would be like... Well, that idea didn't work. Let's try again. Let's yeah. do a new country now. Yeah. <laughs> oh, gotcha. America too. Yeah. This yeah. time with equality. Yeah, that'd be nice, right? <laughs> um, 
But so it's one of those things that just like irks the shit out of me that we're just like, eh. Most of us, most of us, yeah. like as yeah. a whole during that time period, when we learn about those things, we're just like, well, shit, that was fucked. Yeah. 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 Like, um, <clears throat> but it, if anything, it gives you more reason to be skeptical about what's happening today. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Especially considering our current administration. Yeah. Jet fuel can't melt steel beams. So that right there <laughs> is. For to say I, that. So that one and the Pentagon one, I'll tell you what, for the longest time. Which one's the Pentagon one? Where uh, a plane didn't hit the Pentagon, but a missile was fired and fired uh, into it. Because they supposedly never found any plane parts or anything. And you know, there's like a giant hole in the Pentagon. And gone, it's like if, what if someone was able to give me proof of one way or the other i would feel more comfortable about that one mm. because i'm either way on the pentagon one mm. yeah like realistically and I, I feel weird saying that i kind of think about this conspiracy theory yeah. yeah but like i sat there watched it live and our memories don't exactly mean facts yeah. right yeah. absolutely so, absolutely so i'm questioning my own memories here yeah and you should you like reevaluate the but the video footage i remember seeing of the pentagon getting attacked looked like a missile mm. it didn't yeah. look like a plane well i mean i think also too particularly with the 911 one is there's a lot of jokes that go around about it but mm-hmm. um like even if it was something that our government did that's not to diminish the fact that so many lives were lost it, yeah, and it was an extremely scary situation yeah. um but i also if there was like proof that like hey the government did this i'd be like yeah okay i believe that too but also let's arrest those people <laughs> yeah, yeah like, yeah, fucking, like yeah. immediately yeah that's the issue too i feel like with a lot of uh theories revolving around governments doing really terrible things is that no one's really held accountable it's it, kind of yeah, like they get taken the out of government power, that's it. it's like the, the government did this thing uh it was bad we're sorry, you know, yeah. and it's mm-hmm. like, okay, well, great. Is somebody going to go to jail for this or what? Test yeah. my accountability, please. Yes. It's like, it's like large companies. Like they're, yeah. mm-hmm. I don't know. It's, I, I think we're at a place in our lives and reality and world where we realize that things that we thought had consequence, uh, don't always, Yeah. you know, like depending on who you are depending or on how you big are, your pocket is. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Or, or, you know, poor people will get the short end of the mm-hmm. stick and people who are not poor um can get away with a lot of shit yeah that's why we should eat the rich eat the exactly. rich eat them and with that we'll see you on the next uh segment <laughs> thank you for watching <laughs> bye hasta luego bye <laughs> You got the social medias, we got the social medias. You got the Facebooks, we got the Facebooks. You got the Twitters, we got the Tweeters. We got the uh, Instagrams, we don't really use that one too much, but you know, we're on there too. If there's something else, we probably got it. You can find them all in the description at the bottom. Let's pretend like we're all laughing about something that they didn't hear. (laughs) (laughs) Hey guys, welcome back. Cool. (laughs) So for real, welcome back. That's a good uh, promo, though. This is no, that's going to be the beginning of the episode. Oh, okay. We can still cut it for the promo too. Yeah, we can do both. Why not both? Why not both? Um, that's copyrighted. You can't say that. Yep. Um, we welcome back to the second segment this week. Uh, this week or today, my right question now. right now. <laughs> mm-hmm. My question for everyone is: um, What movie scared you as a kid? Okay. Um, uh, I've got two good ones. I've got <laughs> okay. two good ones. <clears throat> One of them, arachnophobia. Oh, okay. Oh. Really? Okay, you go ahead. You, you yeah. arachnophobia. Okay, that's like it. The the movie. Yeah. Yeah. Just all of what it. else would it be? I never <laughs> bothered to watch that movie, so I knew. Fuck that. The first scene in that movie mm-hmm. is like a guy sleeping in like a bug net hammock kind of thing, mm-hmm. uh-huh. and a spider creeps in bites him and he dies instantly great in his sleep (laughs) oh and then it crawls inside his skin Mm -hmm. and travels back to the united states in his body 
And gets a job. And gets a job. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I just imagine like a spider living in a human suit. He's got, like, like, a little, he's got like a little tie up. Oh, starts, I was imagining the spider. He just starts a new life and marries a wife and has children. Two point like like five kids. And, Bernie's. <laughs> no. and then like after 50 years of marriage, the spider takes this human skin suit off and it's like, I'm sorry, honey, I've been a spider all along. <laughs> it's okay. I still love you. <laughs> Not every movie not can be the, Men in Black, Brittany. Really. It's not the meat suit on the outside. It's all of the legs on the inside that matter. Yeah, that's right. I have never seen Arachnophobia. I almost watched it because my senior year in high school, I took advanced biology, and they didn't have a teacher to teach it. So they asked um, our regular biology teacher three days before the semester started, can you teach advanced biology? And she was like, sure, I don't have a curriculum, but I guess we'll wing it. And her winging it was for us just to watch movies that had some sort of like semblance to science. Cool. So nice. it was like biology. But instead of being advanced, it was less advanced. <laughs> yeah, it was like, <laughs> I don't even know. <laughs> was that a class of four people? Uh, it was a full class. It was a full class. It was probably like 30 people in that class. Uh, we watched like, Sparta's great. I Am a Legend was one of the movies we watched. <laughs> wow. And we watched some like, we watched some legit like nature documentaries and stuff. But then we were about to start arachnophobia and she got called, the teacher got called down to the office and they were like, you can't show as many movies as you've been showing. You have to stop. <laughs> and so we Nobody never. can get the media we, card we because never, you always have yeah, it. <laughs> we never finished arachnophobia. And so we went outside to the woods and we picked mushrooms. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, great. that's my little that story great. about that class <laughs> and that movie. So I, I've never actually seen it all. I have through. a similar teacher who did that for my environmental science class, mm -hmm. but she was like a storm chaser, which was Ooh. pretty cool. So you just yeah. watched right. Twister forty five times. <laughs> yeah. I, that sounds amazing. Yeah, yeah, that sounds awesome. But too. yeah, so at some point, like, and this is way off topic, but yeah, she um like she she left the class. We got substitutes kind of rolling in, and then eventually she came back and just started like letting us watch movies and shit. So it was pretty legit, but also worthless. Um, <laughs> well, as a kid, as a student, it was pretty worthless. But as a kid, it's great. Yeah. <laughs> but what, so, what was your? Uh, your so I have a couple of movies. Okay. Um, the Space big Jam. movie that no, the big movie that scared me as a kid that just absolutely terrified me was E. T. Hmm. Could not watch it. Yeah. The first scene. Was it the hands. Yeah, the first scene where like E. T. is running around the woods. And you don't really see him. And then uh, oh, there's like a noise. scene I remember as a kid. Like he, it was like you could see the full moon through like the trees. Mm -hmm. And then he like puts his little finger up like to the moon. And I hated it. It was terrible. <laughs> I would cry when it come on. I like begged my grandparents like, please change the channel. I love ET. And, and they're like, no, it's so good. <clears throat> Actually, I still don't like it. Yeah. Like, it doesn't scare me anymore, but I'm like, this is... What do you have against Drew Barrymore? <sighs> so much. Mm. No, oh. I don't. <laughs> yeah. She's great in Whippet. And as for, like... <laughs> Oh. She's great when she's doing Whippets? <laughs> yes. Oh. Yeah, yeah, she is great doing Whippets as well. Oh, this was a really weird... It's not really a movie, but um, I don't know if you guys ever saw <laughs> Land of the Lost. But the show? Yes, the show. Okay. But it's the 1991 Nickelodeon version. No. There was a no. the intro to it used to scare me, and I don't know why. <laughs> what, what happens? I hated it? it. It's just showing these people in like a raft, and they fall like through this weird crack in the earth. Oh. Okay. And they yeah. end up like where dinosaurs still live. Okay, or so it's very ba it's, it's well, called, very similar to Land of the Lost. That's like classic. The old yeah, that's Earth what that sounds very familiar. That's they made that movie when we like in two thousand nine. Well, not or just whatever. the movie, but I mean like there's a nineteen sixties TV yeah. show too. Yeah. yeah, but I'm not scared of the nineteen sixties version. It's okay. the nineteen ninety one Nickelodeon version because okay. it took me a while to okay. find to find the version. I don't know something about there was one scene where they show them and there's like several moons in the sky. And that scared me. That sounds awesome. Mm. <laughs> I don't know why. It's so stupid. <laughs> Get a whole lot more werewolves in that yeah. world. Yeah. So probably. many werewolves. Yeah. Well, Hutch, anything scare you? I feel like most of mine come from like TV shows, mm -hmm. but... Um, yeah, sure, fuck it. So uh, if I had to go to like movies, like I would think like Gremlins. Because, mm. man. Yeah, that was scary. Those Gremlins are spooky. Well, not spooky, but just monstery. I rewatched Gremlins 2 over the holidays. Yeah. As you should, because it's, it's a holiday movie. It's great. Yeah. It's still... 
There's rumors of them making a uh, sequel. I hope they call it a squeakquel. <laughs> like the, like the, the chipmunk. fucking chipmunks. Um, but I hope if they do do that, um, that they stay with practical effects. Yeah, did mm. Yeah, that's the only way to make it spooky yeah. and also good. So fun thing about Gremlins too. So there's that scene like where they break where the Robert fourth. Picardo fucks a gremlin. Did it happen? I should be. Well, I mean, you're the most recent, so. <laughs> oh boy, oh. I haven't seen the second one. Uh, wow. Now I am scared. Mm-hmm. There, there, there's a there's a section where like Hulk Hogan like comes out of like the movies like yeah. theater thing or whatever, <laughs> and like there's like a scene. I guess if you saw it in theaters, it would be like him like going down like to like the or no, the gremlins are like sc- messing up with like the projector or whatever. Yeah. And I, and if you watched it on VHS, that scenes change because they're like they're cutting like the VHS tape or yeah. whatever. So I thought that was kind of neat, like the, yeah, yeah, little things. I like that. So I had two. Also, oh, the the like goopy back stuff on the gremlins. Yeah, That's, yeah. nasty. That got me. No bueno. I fucking hated that. Nasty. So I had two movies that not only scared me as a child, but they like traumatized me. It's still oh? scared of them. Like. <laughs> no, I, I can actually. I, want, I love both movies now. They're both amazing movies, but I was too young or too stupid to watch them. Number one, Terminator Two. Oh, Terminator Two is an amazing fucking film. Yeah, I love that. How movie. old but were you when you saw it? Six. Okay, five or six. Mm. I had already seen Terminator One on TBS, the cut version. Mm. It was great, but it was the cut version. Yeah. My parents took me to the drive-in to watch Terminator 2, and I, I, to- I always forced my parents to be like as close to the screen as possible, God, so it's huge. You were one of those kids. I was that so. kid. Yeah. And we sat in picnic chairs in the front and watched it, and right when the atomic scene happens and Sarah Connor gets blown by yeah. the thing and sees a skeleton shaking a fence mm-hmm. or whatever, mm-hmm. I started crying so loud that we had to leave the idea of atomic Uh, war is atomic war is terrifying (laughs) but that one scene got uh my parents put me to sleep in the back of the car and finished the movie (laughs) like with a blow dart gun basically (laughs) i don't know go to sleep go to sleep (laughs) (laughs) uh i can see old billy doing that (laughs) and I, I couldn't watch that movie for years after yeah. that. I had nightmares, and I we had also had just gotten a brand new dog who was a beautiful dog, a uh, golden gold retriever chow mix, and I started having nightmares about her turning into a Terminator and coming out of the toilet, and then our house exploding in a nuclear. Explosion. And that's why Brian poops in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> and I had to, I had this recurring dream for years, and then you're like, I was like nine or ten. I watched it again. I was like, oh shit, this movie's badass. Yeah, but. <laughs> But for a while, I just yeah. had that recurring dream. Around the same time that <laughs> Terminator 2 came out, the AIDS epidemic was becoming for real in yeah. in, uh, in America. It had been for real for a while, but uh, I was old enough to understand that that was a thing. Yeah. Saturday morning cartoons, they'd be like, you can hug someone with AIDS. You won't get infected. Like They had like yeah. PSAs and shit. And I didn't know much about AIDS besides it was bad. Yeah, And then... I watched the movie Forrest Gump. Mm. I watched the movie Forrest Gump. I really liked it. Mm. And then at the end, Janie dies from AIDS. Mm. Spoilers. <laughs> <laughs> and I came home and I held my breath till I passed out because I thought I was because going to get AIDS. Because you lost at Smash Brothers? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's not, did we say that story? Yeah, I okay, talked about that story. Okay. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I just... My parents were like, what the fuck? Because I just like passed out in the middle of my room on the floor. I didn't want to get... <laughs> it won't be the last time they find you that way. That's a story for another episode. <laughs> uh, or in person. And maybe. Yeah. Uh, but um, I had just I had held my breath to the point. I thought I was going to get AIDS by breathing it. I didn't mm. know. You thought you would just contract AIDS. I would just like, contract you would, like, AIDS. like a cold was, or something. I was terrified yeah. of AIDS for like three days, and then like my parents explained it to me. <laughs> and then you got over it. Well, my parents explained that this. Yeah. You're, you're not gonna. gonna you're not gonna get it from just standing in the middle of your room. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just yeah. there in the air. Yeah. But like men. that, like when I came home from that movie, I was petrified. Yeah. Um, and the worst part was is that we did have a kid with AIDS in my class. Mm. His mother had AIDS when he was born. Yeah. So he had AIDS. Yeah. And this is when AIDS was a death sentence. Yeah. Yeah. 
Uh, so I was, I don't, I didn't know. I just saw it as like two and two together. Well, he had I guess, HIV, I guess. He had HIV. Yeah. But, um, and it was just like the scariest thing. But I like to tell people, it's like, yeah, my, the scariest movie I ever saw was Forrest Gump. Because that's just, not a scary yeah. movie at all. Well, if you think about it, though, the boomer dream, which is what Forrest Gump is, yes. is a fucking nightmare. Yeah, yeah it, it is. really is. Mm. Just a mediocre white guy moving through time and space. Getting lucky and uh, doing <laughs> excelling at things by not excelling at all. Oh, God. <laughs> um, I have another movie I want to talk about um, that scared me, but it was supposed to scare me because it was a horror movie. Mm-hmm. Okay. And I had no business watching it. I don't know where my mom was. Yeah. Or anyone watching me and why? Whose child is this? Yeah, I was. Whose child <laughs> is this? So my uncle, my uncle would like record movies off of like HBO and stuff, and so yeah. he had like a shit ton of VHS tapes laying around with like a bunch of different movies on it. Mm-hmm. And there was this mo- this movie called Split Second. I don't know if you oh, guys have ever one. heard of this movie before. Sounds yeah. familiar. You've told me about this. It is a. It was made in 1992. It's a sci-fi horror movie about the future. Uh, the future is 2008, and mm. global warming has caused the entirety of London to flood. And it is about a demon creature that travels through the sewers mm. and like bursts through bathroom walls and rips people's hearts out. And it has these like a like ten inch long black claws. It's super fucking scary. Jeez. And it the the cop like the tough like cop is um. I don't know if I'll say his name right. It's Rutger Hauer. I have heard about this. The cop who's I've never like seen it. he's chasing after. They yeah. think it's they think it's like a person, but then they find out like oh it's a fucking demon that's killing these people, mm. and he's like addicted to like sugar. Like he's always like give me coffee, you know, give me like ten scoops of sugar, and that mm. like keeps him going. Uh, Rutger Hauer or the yeah. monster Rutger oh. Hauer. <laughs> maybe both. Well, maybe 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 both. I was thinking about Men in Black with sugar water. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> But this this movie just it, it takes place uh, a lot of it in the sewers, and mm-hmm. I was afraid to use public restrooms as a kid okay. because I thought this monster would burst through the walls and mm-hmm. rip my heart out with its claws. I want to watch this because it is. I've like, showed you a trailer it is for a this one it is like an amazingly you bad have. an you amazingly have. like bad type of movie that's like so bad it's good. It's like uh, that someone was like <laughs> I loved Blade Runner. Yeah, and this is the best that I can do. <laughs> yeah, and somehow I have the tiniest budget to make a film. Yeah, so and I spent it all it, on this character. It, it kept me up. <laughs> it kept me up at night, but for some reason, I watched it multiple times as yeah. a kid, all by myself in the living room. Like I don't know. I like to be scared as a kid. I was terrified of everything, but I think I liked it because I would constantly <laughs> like watch things that would give me nightmares. I um, frighteners. The Frighteners is one that's kind of like Brian's for me, which is like a thing that scared me. And then, oh, no, this is great. Mm -hmm. And also that. um, I don't. Have you ever seen The Frighteners? I don't know Mm -hmm. what you're talking about. It's a Michael J. Fox movie. about. I feel like I've heard of it before. So he is a person who got into a car accident and now can see ghosts. Oh, shit. That's awesome. He (laughs) uses that power to run like exorcism scams. Okay. So he has like four ghost buddies that just, that, that just like poltergeist around in a house wow. and then he comes in and gets them out. Um, what do the ghosts get out of it? Fun. Someone to talk to. Oh, okay. <laughs> just Companionship, <a> <laughs> Brittany. I'm just like curious. A, like a good hang. And it's got uh, one of the Buseys as Ooh. a very spooky. I kind of want to watch this nice. movie now. This it's stuff. really good. Yeah. I feel like I've seen the cover of it. Another one of my favorite things to do when I was a kid is we'd go to like Blockbuster or whatever yeah. local like movie video place was. And I would just walk through the horror section and just look at the covers yeah. and get scared. Mm. <laughs> just like a little kid. So much bullshit over there. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I just hate scary movies in general. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. I've never let myself really get into many of them. I don't like gore. I think gore is really... Yeah. Like, as far as, like, um, this is uh, the scary movie that actually was supposed to scare me that I love now but did scare me as a kid was Poltergeist. Yeah, that yeah. movie's is, scary, actually. It is legit my favorite horror movie, yeah. but it's more thriller. And the practical effects live up. Like, they yeah, it does. did such a great job yeah. with it. But it is batshit terrifying if you sit there and think about it. Mm-hmm. Like, uh, the we watched whole... it a couple years ago yeah. at your parents' house while we were watching their dogs. And I had never seen it before. And it legit, I was like, wow, this is pretty mm-hmm. fucking spooky. 
Um, as you all know, my father's a weirdo. Yeah. Um, <laughs> He's awesome. So, so we didn't grow up watching like traditional scary movies. Oh, yeah. boy. But we watched like Dario Argento, who's an Italian filmmaker who did uh, Suspiria. Okay, that, which, that sounds familiar. There's a they just remade it. Um, okay, but it's all like kind of like Rosemary Baby esque, like weird people in situation, and then supernatural strange stuff happens. Mm. But they're all super beautiful, and okay. every one of those also scared the hell out of me. Yeah, but that sounds like your dad. Yeah, that totally sounds like your dad. <laughs> But they're like seventies horror movies, so it's like the Kairos syrup okay. blood. Yeah, 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 yeah. Where it's just like paint, red super red paint just dripping down things. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. That's weird. One's about a girl at a ballet school who discovers that all of the other people at the ballet school are witches. Whoa. Wow. That sounds awesome. Yeah, yeah. that sounds really cool. But I also have like a different connotation to witches thanks to Harry Potter now. Yeah. Like I'm like, oh shit, yeah. Like like the kind of witches from The Witches by Roald Dahl. Okay. Okay. Not like Expelarmbos. <laughs> <laughs> but, but like cauldron bullshit well you know can what can we do like five more minutes okay if you I, got more. Yeah. I want to yeah, talk about shit. this movie that Brian hates but I, I love fucking it fucking so. god damn I, know, I, <laughs> Sorry, I yeah. thought we got through this <laughs> no, without, no I thought we got through this whole segment without you bringing up this shit fucking movie I want to hear it I want to hear, hear it have, you, so have you guys ever heard of the movie The Arrival it's not with the Charlie new Sheen. It's with the, the knees with, that pop backwards yes. oh my yes. god it's new to me. Okay. Oh. oh, I have it on Blu-ray. If you want to watch it later, I, I don't think I do. <laughs> okay. But so you have is, to watch it once. It's, it's like um, Contact. It's another. It's, no, it's not. Uh, it's, it's, no, it is. it's like if Contact it features was, a large radio antenna. <laughs> it's so, okay. It's in the, Let me explain how it's about. So it is a 1996 sci-fi thriller starring Charlie Sheen. Perfect. Yeah. And, graphics from 1986. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, I forget what it's called. He's like. Like, there's fucking 90 dudes who listen to the satellites in the desert scientists. and they're like oh mm. we're gonna find some alien life for these radio waves or whatever and they hear them and he's trying to like report it and finds out there's this huge conspiracy with the government and the government's been infiltrated by these aliens and their whole job they wear human skin suits and yes. their whole thing is that they're trying to make the earth hotter they're trying to mm. induce global warming so they On can purpose. live here they have succeeded yeah this sounds very familiar now Can yeah keep going and they're like they're these creepy little aliens they like their legs bend backwards yeah uh and their brains are like covered by like a full two flaps of skin that kind of like flip up and down and it used to scare the shit out of me as a kid <laughs> but now i love it and i didn't realize it was a bad movie until like brian and i first started dating and we were like <laughs> doing that thing where we're showing each other like these are movies i like and then we rented it through like netflix so that's when netflix would like send you movies in the mail and we popped it in and we had some friends over and we all were watching it and everyone was laughing their ass off and making fun of it and i was like wait is this not a good movie because i love this movie <laughs> oh. and it is really bad and brian partly hates it because i'm so upset obsessed with it and mostly it's, because you're so obsessed with it's it. one of my favorite movies and it's it not very good but i really enjoy it and also i see a correlation going on here with all of the stuff i'm scared of apparently i'm just scared of global warming <laughs> because all of the movies i'm scared well, I've of i've got like, some bad news for <laughs> yeah, you i'm living in the worst timeline <laughs> the darkest uh, i i remember that but like i don't think it scared me mm-hmm. but that the sound that they make when their knees pop wow. It's like a cracking noise. Yeah, it's like a... Yeah. That, the that sound is burned in my yeah. head. Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty, like... It's, it's. I think everyone should watch it at least once. Yeah. And Charlie Sheen's... Everyone Sheen's, gets scarred at least once. Charlie Sheen's <laughs> acting is... He's overacting in every scene, and it is amazing. <laughs> the, the tiger blood is flowing through him. Yes. It so is. Yes. <laughs> if you want to see, like, 1990... What did I say? 1996... Uh, That's your homework Charlie for Sheen. this week, everyone. Yeah, it's, uh, the, the only or- thing it's- it has to do with contact is the fact that he's reading the <laughs> fucking book in one of the scenes. Well, it's it's the antenna. <laughs> and yeah, they're both. Yeah. Yes, they they both have scenes <laughs> near the large yeah. Ante- yeah. Uh, but yeah, antenna. It's, it's called the arrival, not to be confused with the really the good, the really good, the good alien, alien movie, movie, the arrival. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's just called arrival. 
Oh, uh, well. But I don't know. Yeah. I, I want to mention one random ass, like, dumb horror movie that we found on, like, uh, Kazaa or some shit in college. Oh, okay. <laughs> it was Attack of the Killer Condom. What? what? The condoms have teeth. This. They bite your dick off. Mm. What? Safe sex will never be the same again. Yep. That's not safe at all. <laughs> There's nothing safe about it. I want to know the taglines for that movie. Yeah. Like <laughs> and, they were so great. Sex kills. <laughs> and so and so and so it follows like this like te- detective. It's like an Italian movie, I think, too. Mm. So it's okay. all yeah. Is it in a different language? Is it just about one yeah. condom yes, that kills people? Uh, there's apparently the a bunch of them. Man? I think oh, okay. there's eventually like a big condom monster Someone that pops really? up at some point. <laughs> no, I don't remember. Because we, we we came across this on freshman year, and then we we watched it, and we were like, "That now we're done with that shit." <laughs> it was its name again. Uh, Attack is a killer condom. It must have been a prequel to Teeth. I don't think that's the, the actual name, but with teeth. look for yeah. <laughs> Oh, oh yeah, that that that's that one. Yeah. I never even bothered watching that. That was when like Netflix was pretty new. Yeah, yeah. And I was at home sick one day, and I was like, "What the hell is teeth?" And then it was like this girl had teeth inside of her vagina, and the entire movie is like her getting sexually assaulted by every fucking possible person. Yeah. And her vagina like bites their dicks off in every like scene. <laughs> Nef- dude netflix when it first started yeah, the online was thing was a wild <laughs> list yeah. of shit man yeah and then they and it wasn't it was not unlimited you had a time limit of yeah what you could watch exactly those were the old days and that's the one that i picked old. was teeth and with that we're gonna just end it on attack of the killer condoms <laughs> it's just called killer condom Okay. Ah. Uh, 1996, not rated, 107 minutes long. Mm. It is a comedy horror romance movie. <laughs> I'm, I'm romanced. <laughs> hey, baby, let's raw dog it. It'll be safer. <laughs> that's what I, I feel like that's what it is. It's just propaganda against yeah. condoms. Like, I don't like wearing condoms, so I'm not. Here's a whole like movie. It's going to bite my dick so off. So women will have sex with me without a condom. So the detective's name is Macaroni. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Macaroni. M-A-C-K-A-R-O-N-I. It's an authentic Italian film because of the detective. <laughs> it's Ma- macaroni. Mamma mia. <laughs> Mamma mia. The right. condom is a bite of my dick. Oh. <laughs> it's just <Yeah>. Mario. <laughs> Watch out, Charles Martinet. We know where you got your uh, your start. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you so much. We hope that you let us know what uh, scary movies uh, scared you as a child. And if a condom has ever bitten your dick off, you know, I'm sorry. Yeah, that's it. All right, bye. 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 <laughs> oh. Want to see us perform live? Use that big brain of yours and follow us on Twitch. We do things live there sometimes. Hi. Welcome back. What hentai scared you as a child? <laughs> That's a different episode. All of them. <laughs> Stay tuned for that one. Uh, I'm Hutch, and we're going to talk about games that we love that maybe not are not so good. Wow, that's 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 a title. Yeah, games that we love that are maybe not so good. Shrug. <laughs> what? I, if- okay, I, you I, said they were I, bad in, I, in the in the Excel can, spreadsheet. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, let me try that, tell that one more time. Bad games that we love. There we go. Now my memory works. Uh, so what if we frame it as a question? Otherwise, you don't get points. Okay. What if what, we don't what like are... any bad games? What if... <laughs> Excuse what if you, Miss Donkey Kong love? Country sixty four, <laughs> number one fan. I've seen your mug. You've got it over there. What? <laughs> oh, that barrel actually has a lady in it. Yeah. It's not DK sixty four at all. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right oh, yeah. yeah, spoiler, he didn't give it away at the Christmas party. He kept it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Fucking called it. <laughs> God dang. Yeah. Um but uh yeah, Brittany, so speaking of Donkey Kong 64, why don't you start? <laughs> so the game that I super fucking love is Donkey Kong 64. And everyone gives me a lot of shit about it. But the game is really good. Like, they're both drinking at the same time. <laughs> I'm, I, I'm, I'm really, really just like meme and I've not played it, I, oh, which is weird to me. I mean, it is a collectathon. If you don't like collecting things, then you probably aren't going to like it. <laughs> um, but It has the Guinness World Record for the most collectible it, items in a game. It used to. Yeah. Doesn't anymore, sir. It did for a little a while, game though. called Fortnite. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I guess so. <laughs> But I have the cartridge like twice, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I have the you have a, you have a complete the banana set, the game. controller. Yeah, and yeah. I have like the official Nintendo like guidebook for it. Mm-hmm. 
Uh, I just love Donkey Kong 64. And we've also had, uh, what's his name? Um, the composer of the game retweet us calling him out for being shit. What? Oh, we, I didn't tweet we, and said that he was a no, shit. No, I did, and he retweeted us during your <laughs> your stream of it. <laughs> yeah, probably. I just love that What's game. What's the composer of that game? Grant, Grant Kirkhope. Kirkhope. Grant Kirkhope, yeah. that's right. So, that, that, I, I consider know. that part of your collection. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to think of trash games that I really enjoyed. There was a original Game Boy Star Trek game. Hmm. Okay. That was like that's got to be bad weirdly complicated not a whole lot of fun but it was one of the few game boy games that i had yeah. mm. for a period of time because mm. it was cheap because it was bad mm. and i have a abiding fondness for it so i have uh sort of same my rationale for liking sewer shark as much as i do <laughs> uh sewer shark is a it was a packing game for the sega cd model 2 <laughs> Um, all it is is an FMV thing. You, you play as a dude who's in a big mech that's running through a sewer, and you're shooting is rats. Name dog meat or something? You're, yeah, you have different call signs. You start out as yeah. dog meat, and then uh, you get up to exterminator, <laughs> and then uh, beach bum. If you're you know get towards the end. So wait, your whole goal is to shoot rats. In the game? Well, you shoot rats, and eventually you shoot scorpions and bats. And then eventually, like, the last enemy of the game like that they throw at you is, like, the final boss are these things called Zerks. And they're supposed to be, like, brain-eating fireflies. But it really just looks like a weird, like, blue and, like, red MS Paint, like, circle Beautiful. on a screen. It so you're the sewer shark. Yes. Oh, okay, I get it. I thought they were, like, no. sharks in the sewer. I thought oh. it was Street Sharks the game, but they didn't get the rights to it. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> and the sharks aren't on rollerblades mm. <laughs> or whatever. But, but I... I the Sega CD has like this really good grunge because of the graph, uh, the sound chip on it, mm -hmm. uh, and it really suits that game. I mm. actually really love the soundtrack. Yeah, it's got mm -hmm. a great soundtrack. Actually, m uh, most people will disagree with me on this, but I think the Genesis had a really great soundtrack for music in general, at least for anything like metal or rock or anything oh, like yeah. that. Uh, also, it just had a really great bass. Um, so I'm in a weird position here because almost every game that I love is a bad game. <laughs> yeah. That's well, why don't true. you just list them? Like uh, Mega Man, Mega Man, Man 2, all of Mega Man, Mega 3, Man 3, no, Mega, Mega Man 4. Mega Man 3 is legit a bad Mega game. Mega Man 5, uh, Mega Man 6. I don't even like Mega Man that much. Mega Man God damn. 7, <laughs> Mega Man 8. If you go to Mega Man 12, I'm very happy. <laughs> Uh, so um, I'm actually Battle one of the <laughs> Battle, <laughs> Battle Net, Net two. That's not, that that is an online service. Blizzard's Mega Man Battle Net. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Sonic R is probably the one that I'm most famously known for loving. Um, I'm really let's, good at let's it. Let's not say famously. Well, as far as like <laughs> known, as far as known. To pl play a certain game. Sonic R. You have a reputation of being a Sonic boy. Uh, uh, and m I like most bad Sonic games. I think Sonic 06 is pretty good, actually. Um, <laughs> that groan, though. I it's... feel like you have Stockholm Syndrome with that game. Yeah. It's uh, like, well, we I've... forced you to play that game so many times that now you like it. <laughs> That's how it works. <laughs> And I'm the du the dude who will defend Sonic Boom to like which a, a... I think is worse. I wake I think it's way worse than it's six. not a Sonic game. But Listen, it's... it's a pretty good move. Like if they're across the the screen and you need to hit them, <laughs> <laughs> like when Guile does. Like it the... is. It's a shame Boom doesn't have that Sonic Boom. <laughs> yeah. In Street Fighter, it took me a second. Got yep. it. Did you know that you could do put the Guile theme to anything? <laughs> I hope you have prepared something editing. for it. Yeah, yeah. I hope you, I hope right. you have edit evidence. Uh, you know, I'm, yeah, I'm just going to edit some evidence in right now. There you go. Wonderful. Yeah. Good.
really good. Good. Uh, good job. I didn't do it. I'm looking at the. <laughs> You're not going to. I'm, I'm just like looking at the shelf to be like, what games do I love over there that are probably bad? Uh, Would you guys wait. consider Battle Tanks? Global Assault. Awesome. <laughs> Global Assault to be a bad game because that game is awesome. Don't know <laughs> anything about it. Yeah. No, I played that. that yeah. I rented that from Blockbuster. It's the green. In a couple it's days. the green and sixty-four yeah. cartridge over there. Oh. Huh. There were a lot of really like shitty in sixty four games. Yeah, like there were the army men ones, and I they kind of sucked. But I um, loved army men games actually. And there was like Conquer's Bad Fur Day, which I never played that. That's one my either. boss's favorite game. I, it's it's a fun game. It's, it's fun. not a good game. So I hate rare games. I think really. I, I don't think you ever, like you don't like the rare humor. Is that what it is? I don't like the humor. I don't like. The uh, fart should stay yeah, in your body. It, yeah, exactly. Forever. <laughs> no one should ever have to hear fart ever again. I'm a lady. Fart stay in my body forever. <laughs> <laughs> so no, I'm not not a big fan of the British humor. I also think they're slow paced, hmm. and uh, the gameplay rarely is something I give a shit about. Hmm. So yeah, that's fair. I'm not big fan of the, the 3D and 64 platformers. Hmm. You're blowing Britney away over here. It's like, it's like, 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 like new information. Out. That's, like that's all... a fucking lie, though, because you like Super Mario 64. No, he doesn't like Mario, Super Mario 64. He gives me shit about that game, too. Fucking Brian. He turns like a fucking, like, dump truck. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, you're, when you're dragging that much cargo. Yeah, when you got that much cake in the back seat. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, I get it. It was a time, a time period like game. A dump truck. No, he doesn't. Yeah, he does. He turns. <laughs> no, he doesn't. He's not that bad, but he turns. you're just bad at the he game. That camera's real yeah. shit. Okay, maybe okay. If, I'm, if gonna, I'm going to oh. get us together. <laughs> <laughs> maybe if you could just do a wall jump with your sausage fingers, it wouldn't yeah. be that bad for you. The key, okay. is, the key is to yaw wahoo. <laughs> and if you don't yaw wahoo, you can. Woo. Yeah. All right. Look, Yip, yippee. Oh, yeah. Look, I get it. I said I don't like a good game, but that doesn't mean we have to dog on. It's not that good of a game. I've got a, I've got a hot take for you. Okay. okay. Uh, the N64 Yoshi game is better than Super Mario 64. Yeah. I never played the Yoshi one, so what? That was Yoshi story. Yoshi story. Yeah, yeah. there's a lot. So mm, growing up, I had like five mm. and sixty four games I played. Same. It wow. was Donkey Kong sixty four, mm. Mario sixty four, Battle Tanks Global Assault, Tid eighty, which is like a snowboarding game, and I, uh, oh, I yeah, I remember Rush. Tin eighty. Yeah, Rush. Rush. San Francisco. Rush. San Francisco. Nice. Yeah. There was I, this part where I like would always try to like. It was like a jump, and I would try to get on a roof of this building or whatever, and I never could get it. But we had Ocarina of Time, Rogue Squadron, Clay Fighter sixty three and a third, <sighs> um, which is terrible. It is bad. Yeah. Um, I wanted it in sixty four for that game when I was a kid. Oh, yeah. Why? Yeah, I didn't get it, so it worked um, out. <laughs> oh, the other it's game I had squadron. was Killer Instinct. Yeah, yeah, you're really good at Killer Instinct. Wait, wait, hold on. Are you saying it's a bad game? No, I'm just listing the N64 games about, that I have. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> Growing up, no, no, no. no. Oh, I okay. definitely don't think any entertainment N64 experience. Okay, okay. It's a bad game. Here's a bad game that I think is really good. It's on the Sega Genesis and Super Nintendo. It was the red cartridge, Maximum Carnage. If you play that now, it is not a good game. I always wanted to play it, never did. It is. I played the shit out of it. I rented it over and over and over again. It is a bad game. Mm. I've come back to it and went, why the fuck did I... <laughs> why? Why did I rent this over and over again? But I did. I, I also want to throw out Dragon's Lair. Um, I used okay. to play that a lot. It says <clears throat> on the Sega Steve. Excuse me. Um, it's, the memory game. It, yeah, it's not great. Yeah. There was a space one. Space, space Ace. Ace. Yeah. Space Ace. Yeah. That one was fun to watch. I played more of that than I did Dragon's We sold Slayer. the trilogy oh, at work. Huh. Yeah, <laughs> with one, two, and Space Ace. Yeah. Uh, worst game, Microsoft Paint. <laughs> That's a pretty bad game. Pinball <laughs> on Windows XP from like, Super Circa. Space Cadet 3D. Mm. I got called yeah. a stupid slut on Twitter for making a joke about Microsoft Paint. It was like a couple, I think it was like a year. It was like a year or so ago, there was this game on Twitter that was like, what are the four games that shaped you as a gamer? And I thought I was being super funny and clever. And I was like, Solitaire, uh, Minesweeper. Minesweeper, Hearts, and Microsoft Paint. 
and I, I got like a ton of a ton of people were like haha that's really funny and I got like a ton of attention like that tweet got a ton of attention and this like one person was like paints on a game you stupid slut and it was like I thought it was so funny that this guy was so upset that I like made this joke you're a fake gamer girl you yeah. just hang out and it play was so validate your fake. existence it was so funny and like I think about that all the time <laughs> like not in a bad way i just think it's like super funny and i went back because like when he said it to me he had like a twitter profile it didn't have like a picture or anything on it of course uh i went back to it recently and he has a picture up now and he has like is he exactly who you he's think exactly he who you think he is uh. <laughs> it's so don't so, be that guy yeah, on the internet. Don't, don't do that <laughs> so, so so kind of related um I, I put up a. You uh, called Britney a stupid slut <laughs> on Twitter. <laughs> yes. No. Uh, you won't believe what my alternate Twitter <laughs> handle is. <laughs> so, so I put up this video of me playing uh, DDR, um, and uh, I got like a double A score, which is like next to best. So it was mm. pretty good. And I was playing like. Uh, like a 2x so the arrows scroll a little faster it's easier to see um some random dude put in like a comment on the video it says the only way to play this game is 1x no fatties <laughs> and i was like i was like wow also wow. that's stupid <laughs> also that's kind of funny but so so, so, so my fr- my friend sterling and i and uh juggle boy we all make fun of this right yeah. <laughs> because sterling also puts up ddr videos he's actually really good um and the same dude is like putting up like super big compliments on his videos, really? the exact same dude. And so we were just like, dude, this this guy, like, we're making fun of him behind his back, and he doesn't even know it's great. That Fuck is that amazing. Guy. Yeah. <laughs> so a lot of people would say that Someday Amigo is not a good game. Yeah, I think of... most rhythm games are terrible. I would venture well, yeah, to no, say that would... uh, Donkey Konga is not a good game. <laughs> okay, now Donkey Konga <laughs> is a bad controller. And it's a terrible, terrible song choices. Yeah. yeah. But the game They're is They're like fine. karaoke versions of all the popular <laughs> songs. They're really yeah. bad. We have this one shitty controller <laughs> that just has two buttons on it, and it's disguised as a bongo. Yeah. yeah. And How the can... game selections aren't very good. There's only but it's a games. good game. I love it's that. like, that's literally the whole game. It's and, the controller. And you've got and six the, controllers. And, so. Yeah. Didn't, didn't you I don't play some game that shouldn't be played with the Donkey Kong? Yeah, game? yeah. I would play all kinds. Of games no, it was the he played like a fighting game with the oh, fishing really, rod. Yeah. So this has become a thing now. Uh, this like if you go to conventions now, they're probably like play Soul Calibur for fishing controller, and yeah. I'm like I started that. <laughs> but click the link. Yeah, I'm sure maybe somewhere there's a highlight on Twitch on our Twitch. So. Did, but, wasn't there some run that we watched some guy do where he played everything on like a Guitar Hero? Yeah, 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 yeah Like yeah. guitar. We know another. But it person. was like a, it was like a regular like it was like fucking Zelda or some shit. <laughs> he like played it with like a Guitar Hero. Well, we like, know someone controller. who also like their entire Twitch like. Like their entire community is just this guy who plays every game on a DDR pad. Every game. Yeah. It was. Uh, I, I don't remember his name, but I just a, enjoy really ridiculous things like that. Yeah. yeah. Our friend, I think we're treating the internet with the respect it deserves. Yeah. Our, our friend Jackson uh, threw out a video uh, of him playing Goldeneye on a piano. Yeah. Or yeah. keyboard. Oh, wow. <laughs> keyboard. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so that was fun. But uh, yeah. Okay. Well, I would say uh, my. The game that I love the most that is really terrible is probably going to be Sonic 06. Sonic 06. Mm. Yeah. How about you, Brittany? So, uh, would you say DK64 is the one that you can don't I consider love, a bad bear? I love that one the most. Okay. And I think people would consider it bad. Okay. How about you, Jairus? I don't. You don't even know? I don't play any bad games. Okay. Got it. <laughs> got it. That is the best answer of all of us. Oh. Uh, and for me, Sewer Shark. So... We are good to go for yep. this episode. Oh, actually, oh. Uh, Jet Grind Radio. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you waited for that. I mean, that was planned. All right. No, it just came to me in that moment. <laughs> we'll see you guys tomorrow in the Bye. next episode, the next segment. See ya. Or next.
Next, do you want to watch Heat Wave before anyone else? Well, there's an easy way to do that. Just back us up on Patreon at patreon.com slash half empty e tank and be the first to watch the episodes. Hi, and welcome to the last segment this week on Heat Wave. Uh, it is a very blue episode. And here we go. Fuck it. I'm not, I'm just going for it. Are not, you proud of that? A very no, it's really bad. It's really bad. Hey, do you like Sonic? Do you like going fast? Do you like blue shit? I do. You're in the perfect episode. <laughs> oh, wow. Because we're doing a food club. Ooh, food club. So. Classic. Uh, like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. <laughs> subscribe. Should Hit you give us bell. a little background on this? Uh, so, uh, the bell. our good friend like here, Jairus, went to Japan. And when he came back from Japan, he gave me this box of Sonic curry. And we're going to eat it. That's that's yeah. pretty much it. The other, And then... We'll follow that with uh, my brand new toaster, which is a Sonic the Hedgehog toaster. So, so we're going to have curry and toast. toast. Sonic curry Sonic, and toast. Sonic food. Part of a balanced breakfast. <laughs> so here we go. All right. So we already heated up we, the... We yeah. throw that? I need a picture of it. Okay. We'll get it. It's fine. It'll be okay. <laughs> It'll be okay. Frank's going to poop in it. Uh, I hope not. Or at least rip it to shreds. Yeah. All right. So... We are pretty much ready. Uh, I guess let's go ahead. We microwave to... this for two minutes until it started to, started to puff up. Yeah, yeah. The bag almost looked like it was going to explode. So speaking of explode, how do we open this without it going everywhere? All right, that's a great question. So I'm going to get, get the rice prepared. Can, can you actually can you, can you film that outside this? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just shield myself. I'm, I'm in the splatter zone. The splash zone. <laughs> So it's all in <laughs> Japanese, so this is going to be fun. All right, I got the guys. I'm uh... <laughs> Oh, I see. I see how to do it. Mm, oh, it's very, it's very green. It's not very blue. Uh, oh, no. It's that yellow. I see that blue. No, it's blue. It's just because of the yellow. Oh, oh, my yeah. oh no. Very now blue. we're it's talking. Like Nickelodeon oh. slime. Oh. You all ready to get gacked? <laughs> Here we go. That's Britney mm. Spoon. All right. So I got we got everybody a spoon oh. here. It's got and, chunks uh, in there. What are the chunks? I think that's me. <laughs> I hope it's not me. I hope it's not me. I hope it's not me either. <laughs> so because yeah. Cheris went to Japan in April of 2019. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's been a minute. No, this is still good. It says to eat by July uh, 12th, 2020. Legitimately, oh, okay. it looks like alien slime, <laughs> or it. We should have uh, ate it by no, or we should have ate it by July twentieth, two thousand twelve. What? <laughs> <I> <laughs> Let me know. see the. No, they it's twenty oh six twelve. So yeah, it's the twentieth of June. No, no, it's. Um, I get it. It's two thousand twenty. This June twelfth. <laughs> all right, you know what? I'm just, or the sixth. I'm just gonna no, fucking no. dig it in, matter. my man. No, gonna, we should all eat at the same no. time because I don't want anyone to like say it's nasty and then someone else is like, I'm "Oh like, yeah, we gotta mix this we're up." We're gonna mix Do it we? together. Is this we are. <laughs> oh, we got some blue rice. It's like Sonic <laughs> ASMR. Oh, God, <laughs> this is so weird. <laughs> I'm I'm so happy I'm sharing this experience with this, all of you. Yeah, I'm concerned about what these chunks are. I'm, I'm gonna, gonna not eat a chunk because I'm, I'm gonna eat a chunk. I'm gonna just get a little bit. Okay. Cheers. God it. damn, why is it so bright? <laughs> this is not a natural color <laughs> occurring in nature. Cheers. 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 All right, here we go. Oh, oh. oh yikes. It's, it's all actually, color. It's actually not that bad. It's it's good for microwavable heated up curry. It's just salty. It is very bland. Yeah. It's not interesting. Yeah. The color is the interest. I think yeah. it's pretty good. I'm going in for more. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's definitely like... Oh, yeah. I guess we'll just go ahead mm. and get to the next one. Oh, and I never did a timer. Whoops. <laughs> God, Fuck the police. Well, we got to go fast. So. We got to go fast. Done We're going to do this one I in half the time. Uh, Hold on. One of these did you options... Plug that in? Oh, no. I thought it says bagel. I thought the option was rage. <laughs> I don't think I want to see rage on my toaster. <laughs> I'll have another bite of this. 
may, may I help? Such a fucking idiot. I love you so much. <laughs> I tried. <Ding>, <coughs> <coughs> it's, it's broken. Four grown ass adults try and figure out how to use a goddamn toaster. Let me come around right. to the other side. Okay. It is, but maybe it's not. It's, it's not staying down. So let's. Oh, you know what? Flip that switch on. That's what it is. Yeah. <laughs> okay, go back in. All right. Here we go. We're going back in, fam. Okay. There it goes. It's blue. I just needed to touch it. That's all it was. Should we worry about this co- this cord touching the uh, yes. coaster? Yes. Hundred percent. There we go. Oh, it's already smoking. Oh, Perfect. Beans. So it's oh, going to beans. burn it. <laughs> Like, it's yeah, going to. Get are still ready. Touching. Slide it under. I That's hope better. that it just burns it in the middle and then, like, everything else <laughs> is not toasted at all. That's exactly what we're going to get. <sighs> I'm going to go ahead for a second here. Sorry. You skeeted blue yeah, on me. You're getting that blue. It's, it's probably going to stain your clothes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, black. it's burning my skin. <laughs> my, mm, hand, my hand's my got tongue. a little bit of blue. Our tongues are blue. Gross. <laughs> this is content. So, um, welcome to the meme zone, dude. Mm-hmm. I haven't had curry in a while, so I think that's partially why I'm just like, yeah. It's I had just, curry last <clears> night. <throat> and it's it still... just tasted salty to me. Like that's the yeah, flavor. yeah, yeah. It's kind of like a. It's I'm like concerned a... with the plasticky smell that's <laughs> emanating from that. That's oh my god, that's new, the first time. It's a yeah, new it's first new toaster. Gotta first get... burn's always the smelliest. <laughs> That sounds like a bad Cheryl Crow song. It is. Are you, are you sure that there was no plastic in there? No, I took it all Maybe out. Maybe the crumb tray or something? I don't know. I took it out. Okay. I will trust you. It's I just burning. It. Yeah, I think it's searing one side of it. So, <laughs> so that's cool. What, does it Way have like cool. knobs so, on the other side? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, he's got up to like, it's five, got like three five and a quarter. So. We put it at the highest. It's no, like, no, no, it's, no. At, it's in between five and six, and six is the highest. <laughs> By the way, this toaster uh, goes up to six. <clears throat> shout out to Prognosticator. He bought me mm. and Hutch one of these uh, at Max Do- uh, Mac Fest. Max Stag. Max Stag. Thank you very much. I was in need um, of a toaster. We were, it was the last day. We were drunk like, and tired. It smells like ironing clothes. It does, yeah. actually. I feel like I'm hallucinating because I thought I just saw someone run down our hallway. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure it's the, the fumes from those. Like, out no, of the corner of my the eye. taking hold. Out of the yeah. corner of my eye, I thought I saw. Were, were they people dressed in shrimp costumes? It was just like a flash. Scrimp, right? A flash mm. of someone running down the hallway. So while, while this is toasting... <laughs> Tell us your favorite terrible thing about Sonic. The teeth. The teeth are pretty bad. What are you talking, oh, like, or it doesn't about have to be Sonic movie. It could be anything Sonic that has to Oh, related. there's Sonic there's... stuff other than the movie? Apparently. <laughs> so I love like, that little... Was it curry in a toaster so Was far? it like a game or something? No, nah, I don't think so. Okay. I love that little cosplay video of the guy who's like poorly dressed as Sonic uh-huh. and he's eating like a chili dog. <laughs> And it's like the song music is made with like a recorder, like a, like a, I don't know how song music. Uh, my favorite, my favorite cosplayer is the one that like trips over the table and then his mom yells at him. Oh, yeah, and his ass is hanging out. Yeah, 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 yeah. That one's pretty good too. I hate when people underestimate my fastness. I'm fast. I'm so fast. You couldn't even comprehend how fast I am. God damn it! What is your problem? You're gonna ruin my fucking fan? That is new to me. Oh, we're gonna have to show you oh, that. Oh, I'll have to yes. show you that later. Um, yeah, that's right. Culture me. And Hutch normally Googles sexy cosplay. <laughs> I mean, I thought it might well. Yeah. I think. Whoa! Oh. Oh. All right. Oh, that's looking good. Oh, wow. Yeah. What? Wow. My favorite is the other side, though. It's toasted. Just it's fine. toasted. <laughs> it's good toast. It's heavy yeah. toast. Heavy toast. Dog oh. business. <laughs> All right. Here <laughs> we go. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to come in for the zoom in here. It's going to come in. 
So, all right. Well, who wants I to will try? say though that for a toaster that is advertising itself as being really fast, that wasn't toasted very fast. <sighs> yeah. It took some time for a while. Great. I have we butter. Put on the if anyone setting. wants I would, some I'm butter, going, I'm going to eat some Sonic toast. Yeah. Would you like some butter? Yeah, I'll trade you some curry. How's that? No, get, <laughs> so it's please. all I've eaten today. <laughs> <laughs> You want some like pretzels or something? Like... I hate myself. <laughs> I can just take this to you. I yeah, live, yeah, yeah, I live you. in a place of sadness and All right, misery. Cheers. Would you like to uh, share some to toast share. with me? I don't like toast when it's d- done this much, but here we go. Oh, well. Should we put the butter on his face? I, I'm going to put it on the outside. <laughs> And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna eat the face slowly. Just video footage of it. Oh, we got that toast sound. I'm telling you, this is like a ASMR, like Sonic, Sonic toast ASMR. <laughs> Perfect. There you are. I'll I'll tell you what the the curry actually surprised me about how like okay it was. I thought it was really good. Did you only bring one more piece of bread over? Yeah, I fucked up. Do you want it? Oh, is it already gone in there? Yeah. Oh, okay. We'll still grab one because. Uh, uh. Well, there's not four pieces for each of us. There's only three. Because <laughs> that's what I'm saying. The yeah. bread's over there. Get one. I one. know, but it's like we got already time. In there. We got time. There's eight minutes left. We're going to oh. get enough for it. Okay. Get like. Uh, I will do it. Oh, I mean, I'll get in a minute when this pops up. You can't put it in there now. Well, I can be ready. <laughs> <sighs> so how do you feel about the Sonic Toaster? It's actually really good. Is it toast? It's toast. toast? It's toast toast. Does it taste um, faster than regular toast? You're not eating any faster. Yeah, you need to eat faster. I'm a slow eater. Eat faster. <laughs> I'm treating it like a chili dog. <laughs> I really Perfect. hope the microphone got all that. Oh, that's... you got crumbs all in the butter. Oh, no. You, well, you just ruined wow, my Ryan. evening. Thank you very much. <laughs> Fucking Ryan. God damn. <laughs> he's, he's walked away in shame. Oh, man. So, yeah, Brittany. This wh- feels like something that will burn our house down at some point. <laughs> <laughs> What? <laughs> you're, so you're gonna burn your work down, huh? Okay. Fuck, fuck work. <laughs> it's only the best job we've ever had. Fuck it. <laughs> burn Yolo. this motherfucker to the ground. <laughs> In the yellow. Ooh wee. Yo toe. You only toast once. <laughs> Well, uh, do you want to look at the box and? Uh, but for serious, I'm gonna fucking, I'm gonna use this toaster every day. Pick the box up. You Pick didn't, you didn't, you didn't read, read the box. you didn't read the box oh, of the curry the, yeah, or the or the yeah, toast. You get that one. This is falling apart. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, this is falling apart. <laughs> mm. Keep it together, y'all. Whoa, Whoa that, was that one got up. ups. Also, it's really burnt on oh, the front. Wow. So Sonic Let's is referred to as the most famous hedgehog. In the entire world. In the entire world. In the, or in the world. Ooh, that one's a oh, burnt no. boy. Oh, no. It's a burnt boy. Here's a burnt boy. <laughs> Just put two more in there. We got to do it anyways. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's a burnt boy. I Did turned you guys it down. turn it down? Yeah, I turned it down. Mm-hmm. I think I might wait. Yeah, just wait for this. I don't this really is... like burnt Do half. Do half. Do like <laughs> like <great>. that. <laughs> I want to read is... you guys really quick this Grant. little uh, quote at the bottom. Uh, it says... Don't just sit there and waste your precious time. When you want to do something, do it right away. Do it when you can. It's the only way to live a life without regrets. That is on the bottom of the Sonic the Hedgehog <laughs> curry. Instant curry. You know what? That's worse to live by. I've never felt more inspired There's in my life. A terrifying uh, way to plate this up in the fa- in the shape of Sonic's face yeah, on the back. Yeah, and there are videos of it on the internet. Mm-hmm. Sonic the Hedgehog Curry. You've All right. heard of the internet. Use it to find... Yeah. Have you guys ever heard of the internet? Sonic is on it. <laughs> so tell us about this toaster so, packaging. <laughs> while we're reading things on boxes... Uh, hey, you! Yes, you. Me? With the face! <laughs> reading this note. You know what? You're pretty great. Hmm. Now You're one of the chosen few who helped make this toaster a reality. Without you, we'd be forever doomed to the same boring, generic, crispy bread. So, from all of us at Sega, here's a toast to you. Thank you for making our fans' dreams come true. 
This kind of sounds like a cult yeah. toaster. Are you tired of the same old toast? <laughs> Do you find yourself constantly going on the go and need a quick breakfast before you head out to collect your those rings? Well, do you have a well? Do we have a toaster for you? Got a toast fast. (laughs) I do like the packaging for the toaster. The toaster. I'm. I like the apologetic tone of one of the sides where it's like, "Thank you for all you've put up with." (laughs) (laughs) Brian Belcher. (laughs) Each toaster is personalized with a recipient. We know know we've shit the bed a few times in the past with the Sonic. Well, we hope this toaster, this commemorative toaster, will make up for it. All is forgiven. Congratulations. We're sorry on the side of the toast. Oh, my God. That would be amazing. Oh, God. It's just a Sonic Has face on one side and we're sorry I feel like we could mod that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I was going to say, like, a, like a, um, a modular toaster do where you didn't any, make anything. Do we like have rich. any toast modders out there? <laughs> Actually, if you can mod a toaster, please let us know in the comments. Oh, oh hey. just in time. Hey, this is less toasty. It is. Yay. Here you go. Congratulations to me. I'm a winner. So, so um, that appa- looks good. That's the right level for me. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Apparently, they sell a multi hundred dollar toaster that's supposed to be really good at making toast. Oh, yeah. I hope so. Does it put the to- bread in the toaster for me too? And Is it like the machine from the beginning of Big Top Pee Wee? <laughs> <laughs> no, that, uh, that was Pee Wee's Big Adventure. Oh, yeah, there you go. Pee Wee's Big Adventure. That's the only one I remember. Mm. And even. Big Top Pee Wee has the hot dog tree. <laughs> I, I, I only remember the part of one of those movies where he gets into like a semi truck with this really Large scary. March. Yeah. A little scary lady. That was another movie that scared me when I was younger. That's the only mm, one that I yeah. remember. See, every time I think about going into a, a truck. I think about dogma. I think about George Carlin blowing people across the country. Oh, I thought you were going to say you think about your dad blowing people across the country. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> thankfully, uh, oh, Billy Ray. Thank, He's at it again. Bi- thank, thankfully, Billy Ray's home. No more blowing people. Welcome back, Billy. Welcome back. I hope, I'm glad Dad never watches YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> mm. I'm glad Dad doesn't understand how YouTube. Speaking do. of your dad. He sent me a friend request on Facebook. Yeah. And then before I could accept it, it was like gone. <laughs> like, it's like he logged into Facebook and was like, I'm going to make a Facebook account. And then it was immediately like, he no, dele- he deleted de- it. He deletes his Facebook every day. And I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not even shitting you. What? My dad creates a Facebook <laughs> to look at shit and deletes his Facebook at the end of his session. <laughs> He adds, and, uh, me, he adds me on sh- Facebook every day. I wasn't sure if it was like a weird scam <laughs> or whatever. It could have been. Uh, I mean, or, it's like your my, family, grandma. my grandma has like three fucking accounts. Yeah, your family has like weird doppelgangers that try to like yeah. friend us. I don't know why. And it's some sort of weird spammy thing going on. Yeah. Hmm. But yeah. I it's fucking. thought I, I would mention it that your dad sent me a friend request and then before so, I could respond it disappeared <laughs> along with his profile both all, all of my family are like the youngest person in my family besides me is my mom and she's 57 mm-hmm. and they are all technologically impaired mm. so and they all think they're right about everything mm. it's a bad combo yeah I can, I can relate to that so seems like they would really like Facebook then you, mm-hmm. My mom loves it. <laughs> my mom, argue, my mom wakes up to argue to people. Mm-hmm. Argue, see, like, she follows like all. My mom's not a Trump supporter at all, but she follows all the Trump shit mm-hmm. to argue with people. And I'm cool. like, for me, that would cause a lot of stress. Yeah. For me, that sounds miserable. <laughs> yeah. But that is what kids are up in the morning. Yeah. Well, we yeah, we told her we're like. Maybe you shouldn't do that. And she's like, no, it's a good way to vent. I like it. <laughs> Someone's so got to fight like, the fight. All right. I want to fight him. 1v1 so me, we bro. So just, we, just uh, we just let his mom fight other moms on Facebook. It's mom fight. <laughs> mom's fighting moms. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So. It's MTV's newest reality show. <laughs> mom fight. That was a delightful like piece of toast. I'm <laughs> actually, I'm legitimately happy with this product. Mm-hmm. That's a damn fine toaster. That's a damn fine toaster. Uh, that toaster? Why is it smoking still? <laughs> they don't make toasters like this anymore. <laughs> it's basic. It gives you toast. It's got a sonic face on it. I'm happy. Why is it still smoking? <laughs> we should probably unplug that at I night. Joking, we sleep. It's going to fall apart immediately. <laughs> That's okay. That's just got another one. That's true. We could come use yours. It's just like... 
Let's go, just make sure Juggle Boy never uses it. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> Wait, does he set toasters on fire? No, but he um, <clears throat> um, gas bombs us out of houses. He, he okay. He he, he he last night he made some uh, hot oil using <laughs> Trinette scorpions, and then he um, made a mistake of trying to cook with the oil. And uh, yeah, I was not having a good time after that. We opened all the windows. Here you go, Hutch. Here's your toaster. Thank and that's you. That's the end of our episode of Heat Wave. Thank you so much. We're not. <clears throat> Anyways. Oh. Uh, everybody, we had some fun with some Sonic food. We talked about AIDS. It was a great episode. We hope you come back next week. Well, we don't blame you if you don't. I, I wouldn't blame you. God. <coughs> oh, yeah. I'm this dead. Is... Follow me. Take Set my me hand. free. Set me free, city. That's right. Till next time, Jairus. Bye-bye. Bye, Bye Josh. Bye.